Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we are blasting Vancouver's Blasphemy, Fallen Angel of Doom, Ross Bay Cult Eternal. Fuck yeah. Just a straight up love letter to the Lord below. Awesome, awesome fucking sonic hatred of Christ captured in this 1990 classic. So fucking good. Nuclear War Now reissue. Just wow. If you don't have it, you need it. Just a 1990 black metal fucking gem. Unlike what I'm going to be going over right now, um, this is one of those bands in black metal, which there's a little anomaly that Sean Count Blagaroth pointed out, but I'm not big enough of a fan of this band to really know this, but I actually like checked out like the albums this band has with blue artwork, and they are like seriously way better than the albums with the red artwork but this one isn't too bad but I'm talking about Dark Funeral and uh, Diablos Interim on Regain Records I'm not sure if this is just a UK release it's a double disc reissue from 2007, but this was originally released in 2001, and you have some computer-generated Satan artwork on the CD, and the cover. This is one of those bands that's like really big in like the black metal scene when it comes to like mainstream black metal, which doesn't seem like it should exist, but like I'll throw bands like, you know, Marduk and uh, even like Behemoth under that fucking flag and Mayhem as well. Just because when they come over to the States, they're gonna sell out fucking shows and stuff like cradle of filth like they're fucking garbage but like they're gonna sell out whatever venue they fucking play it's the same thing with the mu borgare i would go see them if they were playing storm blast in its entirety but whatever this is pretty much a love letter to second wave scandinavian black metal um you know just pretty chaotic drumming awesome but i really do need to give the guitar players credit on here the riffs are really really sick at times like super evil vibes that have you squeezing invisible oranges it, it's not invisible grapefruit worthy but it's invisible orange worthy and you have your ritual back here but um Still super evil stuff, like it looks real evil and it's fucking cool. And when you put it on, like, it's just really, really vicious and chaotic and kind of boring. That's where I feel this is boring, where an album like Fallen Angel of Doom is like soaked in this like just vibe and atmosphere of evil. This feels like they're just trying way too hard to get the gnarliest fucking blast beats and just like the fucking fastest riffing and then even the tremolo like picking it's not like super super evil evil sounding but it's evil enough that you know it caught my attention and I really enjoyed it what I heard of it you know like because you get really, really distracted. Look at that fucking beer gut. But you get really distracted listening to this album because of the fucking drumming. It just overpowers everything else, in my opinion. And everyone on this band has like a beer gut. I love it. But, uh, fucking, I don't know. It's just, I, I it's one of those bands that. I understand why they're popular. 
I understand why people like them. It's just not really my cup of tea. Like, when I'm going to listen to, you know, Scandinavian, Swedish, second wave black metal, I'm going to fucking dissection. Like, that's just my cup of tea. It's what I enjoy. Dark Funeral goes definitely more for, like, a Norwegian vibe than Scandi- I meant than Swedish. But they are kind of, you know, very, very much similar when it comes to, you know, that, like, mayhem sound or even, you know, Emperor and stuff. Like, you can definitely tell Dark Funeral wears their influences on their sleeves. But at the same time, you know, this is their own band and they add their own fucking vibe and sound to the evil landscape that is black metal. I just feel that it's it, it's just not focused. It's all over the place, and it's just boring. Like, it just doesn't hit where it really, really needs to. Nothing fucking stands out. Like, there's nothing where I'm like, oh, I want to put, you know, that one song on so I can hear that fucking, like, part. It's not like, you know, an album like that. It's It's just something that, you know... If you're first getting into black metal, then fuck yeah. Like, get into this. Check it out. Because this will open up plenty of doors for you. If you enjoy this, then there's tons and tons of other bands that you're going to enjoy as well. But if I had to pick on the actual... Because this is a double disc. There's a bonus disc with some cover tracks. And uh, a different version. And one of my favorite songs on the track that actually sounds better... Then the album version, and uh, that's going to have to be Hail Murder, The Arrival of Satan's Empire, and An Apprentice of Satan. It, <laughs> yeah, they love Satan, obviously, if you didn't know. But those are my favorite tracks on uh, fucking Diablo's Interim. And yeah, like I said, it's pretty stock second wave Scandinavian black metal, but it's pretty decent as well, like, if I had to listen to it, I would, but, um, I would definitely check out their debut album, it's, it's actually really, really good, awesome Swedish black metal, but this is just a little mediocre, and just one of those, like, you know, let's see how brutal of a black metal band we can be, to where it kind of even teeters on like death metal extremity when it comes to the drumming it's just like yo 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 like the drumming should just be a backdrop for the riffing and whatnot but whatever the ink has dried but the bonus disc here is pretty fucking cool actually it has um five tracks it has another version of an Apprentice of Satan. It has The Trial by King Diamond, which is an okay cover. You have Slayer's Dead Skin Mask, which it's a Slayer cover by a black metal band, so you should know what to expect. You have Remember the Fallen by fucking Sodom, which is actually just mediocre. Like, come on, guys. Like, you really can't fucking thrash? Like, come on. It just, it did not, come on, man. If you're going to cover Sodom, do it fucking right. Like, Sodom rules, and it's just, it's a weak cover of Remember the Fallen. And then you have Pagan Fears by Mayhem, which they just fucking nail. Because it's one of their main influences and inspirations. And I can tell, ha, ha, ha. But, in all reality, it, it, it is what it is. I mean, it's just one of those second wave black metal albums that just doesn't do anything for me. Along with a lot of other ones as well that, that just fall flat where other people are like, How don't you like that? I'm like, how do you like that? Like, I don't know, but I'm going to have to give this a fucking 6 out of 10. It's just mediocre and nothing special here. Like, if you're looking for some, like, you know, sick, original black metal, no, no. This is just 
pretty stock, mainstreamy sounding black metal before this band really, really blew up. I mean, nowadays this band's huge, but around this time period, they started getting a lot, a lot more notoriety and getting a tour more and whatnot. And I understand, like I said, why people like Dark Funeral. Their last album. Yeah, it was, it was decent, but their debut is badass, and yeah. We've been blasting Blasphemy, Fallen Angel of Doom, which was recorded in 1990, and just completely shits all over this. Like, absolutely, it's just like, yeah, that's, like, that's, that's not evil. Like, this is fucking legit. Like, to me, if you want black metal, you want that raw production, you want that fucking vicious, like, just, yes! Like, I hate Christ too, like, that type of, like, vibe. And just that evil, evil riffing and drumming that sounds like artillery, but not overdone, not triggered. Just listen to that. Like, memorable parts is what I'm talking about when I, when I say memorable parts, that's what I'm talking about. Stuff that you just, uh, I knew to play that loud for you guys because I love that part. It's one of my favorite fucking vocal patterns on this record. Like, yeah, I love this so much that I, I know what vocal patterns I love and just, Stick to bands like Blasphemy and stuff, like, leave this Dark Funeral album to, you know, your little brother or somebody that's trying to get into extreme music, but that's all I have to say about that. As all, if you do like Dark Funeral, you know, like I said, I understand, it's just, you know, it's not for me, and a lot of bands, like, that a lot of other people like, I'm kind of just like... I don't get it. I'd rather listen to King Diamond. But that's me. I mean, even the King Diamond cover on here it didn't do anything for me. Like, I can't, my, I can't wait to get that double LP from Attic. Their new album on Van Records. Oh my god, just wait. It's, it's gonna be so good. I listened to it. It straight up sounds like a black metal version of Merciful Fucking Fate. It's amazing. But... As always, thanks for watching. You guys are the fucking best. Hails.